The quest to secure rights of children gained momentum as non-state actors, including leading religious organizations, signed a memorandum of understanding while vowing to fight the push for corporal punishment to be introduced again in learning institutions. According to pressure groups, caning is not the perfect solution, arguing that it worsened the situation by intensifying stress levels among runners. It was corporal punishment, and all it did was to add the stress on the children. Let us walk closer, let us talk more with our children, let's guide them and support them. They are also urging the government to commission a comprehensive research to come up with long-term and effective solutions. We should not revert to strategies and mitigating factors that invite us to met violence on our own children. Rather, we should first and foremost be able to interrogate through research and an evidence-based method on the root causes of the challenges that we face. The lobby group says the MOU will strengthen policy measures put in place to protect the rights of children. CCK as a church representation is spread throughout the country. World Vision Kenya is also represented in 38 out of the 47 counties in this country. So we believe that that spread and that presence that we both have in the communities across the country is actually going to be game changing in looking at and addressing children's issues so that we can make a joint contribution with the church towards protecting the rights of children and ending violence against children here in Kenya. This comes in the wake of unrest in multiple institutions of running approximately one year after schools resumed after the long holiday that was occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. Paul Jao, K24, Kiambu.